busking, the activity of playing music in the street, or another public place for voluntary donations. If you're a musician and you do not yet go busking, then I think you are missing a trick. Busking is not only now my full-time job, but it has transformed me as a performer and a player. Before I joined the busking community, there were many things that I assumed about busking that I discovered to be wrong. One of the biggest being the overall earnings. Now I do my best to share my life as a busker to give other musicians an insight into how beneficial and just how rewarding it is. So in this video, I'd like to go through some reasons why I think every musician should give busking a go, as well as some things that maybe you won't find as enjoyable as a street performer. So without any delay, let's get stuck in. Reasons why you should become a busker. Number one, the money. The money is surprisingly good. Now I do not think you should become a busker for money. Busking is definitely not about earning money. And if you do want to earn lots of money, in relative terms, you're not really earning that much in comparison to other lines of work. However, as a musician, it's one of the best ways I've found to earn steady money. Especially when you're maybe not so well known, or you've yet to build up the other areas of your music career. If you want to earn £150 per day through your Spotify streams, that would take 54,900,000 streams per day. But even getting £150 for a gig, it will take time to establish yourself as a reputable artist. Whereas with busking, the barrier to entry is so low. All you need is some musicianship, a semi-rehearsed performance, and preferably some equipment. Take that to the streets and play for a few hours and there you have it. It's as easy and as simple as that. Reason number two, it is the ideal job whilst you establish your music career. To follow up from my last point, I think busking provides a working musician with the ultimate day job. Most musicians will have a dream career, something that they're working towards. You might wanna be a session player, a songwriter, an arena filling artist, or you might just wanna be a guitar tech. But the problem with most music career jobs like these is they require a period of time to build up where often enough they do not support you financially. For example, if you do want to succeed as a professional songwriter, you're gonna need to spend some time writing lots and lots of songs, perfecting your craft, and then you're gonna wanna try and collaborate with as many artists as possible, getting into the studio, getting into the rooms with them. And then you could pitch your services to labels and maybe secure a publishing deal. And all this is gonna take lots of time. And to begin with, it's probably not gonna earn you a single penny. So you're gonna need a day job, but an office job or a position as a coffee barrister, even working in retail like a, at a music shop. These jobs are gonna take huge amounts of time away from each and every day. And most of these day jobs, you're not gonna be working on any music of your own or you might not even be working in music at all. And that's what you love doing most, right? Working on your craft, therefore, is reserved for evenings and weekends. Then try juggling a social life, maybe trying to do a bit of exercise. All the administrative tasks that come with just being alive in modern living. And suddenly you'll find that your music career is taking a back seat. Maybe add in a few cushy promotions, a higher salary, maybe a boss wants you to work a few more extra hours and you need the money so you put it in and suddenly that music career becomes just a dream. A dream you once had. However, with busking, you're not just working with music, your work is music. And if your goal is to be a session musician or a working artist, then you're literally being paid to rehearse. And what is more, point number three, you own your own time. As a busker, you are your own boss. You don't have any management or anyone above you, anyone to tell you what to do. And unlike other self-employed lines of work, you don't even have a time schedule that's laid out by your customers. You can do whatever you want, whenever you want. In other words, you have, in the modern sense of the word, freedom. The only thing that has any say in whether you are going to work or not, honestly, 
is the weather. Heavy rain. That's it. Obviously, there are council guidelines that offer time frames, and there are optimal times of the day where you probably want to be out playing on the street. But dang, your life is in your hands. I hear friends of mine say things like, oh, I can't wait for this week to be over. I just want the weekend to be here. Living for the precious Saturday and Sunday. Literally wishing their life away. Me? I don't even have to know what day of the week it is. All I have to care about is, am I heading out to play music today or am I going to work on a YouTube video? Point number four. I've already said this, but it's a paid rehearsal. It is worth reiterating this statement. In his book, Outliers, Malcolm Gladwell refers to the 10,000 hour rule, asserting that in order to achieve true expertise in any skill, it is simply a matter of practicing for 10,000 plus hours. I used to think about how ironic it is that musicians that do succeed and go on to have actual music careers, maybe as artists, they're the ones that become the world's greatest. They're the ones that win awards and become celebrated experts in their field. But of course they do, because they get paid to do it. Meaning they can spend every waking moment playing, practicing, performing, writing, honing their craft. If all you've ever got to worry about is writing songs, then of course you're going to become the world's best songwriter and be celebrated for it. It used to bum me out that I had to wait for the evening or the weekend to work on my craft. As they get to practice, 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 work, 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 get ahead, I get left behind with the few hours that I do get to spend doing what I love. And then I became a busker. I now also get to spend every waking hour working on my craft, practicing, rehearsing, performing, getting better because it's my job it's how i earn a living if i did have to work a nine to five i wouldn't even spend half the time i currently do playing and performing music and back when i did work day jobs day jobs i was nowhere near as accomplished of a musician as i am today and i thought i practiced a fair bit not only does busking offer you a paid rehearsal it also offers you a way to play music without having to worry about disturbing your neighbors there is no chance i could play here for four hours a day without getting someone knock on the door and tell me to be quiet point five promotion this does sort of feed into point two if you are building a music career especially one as a music artist or a session player, then busking offers you a way of being seen by lots and lots of people. Now my social media numbers are still relatively humble in the grand scheme of things. But when I first began busking, I had less than 100 subscribers here on YouTube and maybe around 100 followers on Instagram. Ever since, these numbers have been going up and up with a following that's growing and growing. And shout out to you watching this because the people that do follow along on this journey are so caring, they're so kind, and they engage with all the things I do. It's a true audience of real people because half of them actually saw me playing in real life. And if you are trying to become a musical artist and you're feeling a pressure to post on social media and you're wondering what on earth you should be posting about, especially during times where you're not on tour or in the studio, busking offers you an ever-ending amount of material to post about. You're essentially playing four to five gigs a week. You've always got something to share. And number six will be my last point for this video. Although I genuinely could sit down and list you endless reasons as to why I think you should be a busker or at least try some busking. My last point is busking shows you how kind people really are. And I really mean this. As a busker, I get to be on the receiving end of kindness and generosity every single day I head out. When I first started busking, it astounded me at the impact that live music has on the everyday person. It single-handedly restored my faith in humanity, especially when it comes to music. People love it. And in return for you playing, they take the time out of their day to stop, watch, listen, maybe have a chat with you, throw some compliments your way, and even give you a donation. Sometimes it's not just spare change either. 
Sometimes it's full notes. Sometimes it's multiple notes. Sometimes you get handwritten letters or messages from people telling you that you've literally made their day. If you ever find your faith in humanity wavering, which if you're scrolling through social media or reading the news headlines, it most likely will, then head out for a busk. And you'll find that on a human to human level, almost everyone is awesome. Especially when live music is thrown into the mix. It's made me a kinder, more compassionate human. As I always feel the need to pay the kindness forward. I get to do what I love because of the generosity of strangers. And through it, it makes me a better human. So there are the reasons that you should go out busking. So next is a few things that I think you should be aware of. These aren't really reasons not to go busking. They're just things that you probably want a heads up on. For the first point, let's talk money. Number one, you are not guaranteed anything. Now there is a lot to say about how nobody is guaranteed anything, no matter what job they're in or what line of work they have. Even in the most secure of jobs, human society is fragile and anything could happen at any time. However, unlike your standard nine to five, there is no set salary for buskers. Now from experience, if you are somewhat an accomplished musician and you genuinely love performing enough to always give it your all when you're stood there in the street then you're almost always going to get a good response and that good response will equate to a high reward but there are different factors that can sometimes mean you have a dry day or a few dry days or a few dry weeks as i've said before the weather can play a role a few weeks of rain might mean that you don't really get to work. So you just have to be mindful that sometimes you might not earn as much as you need. However, unlike somebody who is on some sort of contract for their work, the opposite is also true. You don't actually have any limits to how much you can earn. So maybe the weather has been rough for a few weeks and you've not earned a penny. But then you've got a week of sunshine and days ahead. There is absolutely nothing to stop you playing every single day and adding a few more hours on on each of those days. For all you know, it will make up for the time you missed. You might even find you earn more. And with every dry patch, usually comes a wild patch where things take you by surprise in a good way. I think all you have to do when it comes to this point is change your mindset. For some people, it can be difficult when you haven't got the feeling of a safety net under you. But personally, I don't feel that that comes with the territory of being a musician. Us musicians tend to like a little bit of chaos. We are creative people, after all. Number two, the street is your office. Spending hours and hours on different high streets across many towns and cities, you get to witness both the wonderful and the weird. And sometimes you can feel pretty vulnerable out there in the wild. It can sometimes be something very simple. For example, last week I was playing in Hastings and I accidentally laid my guitar case down in some McDonald's ketchup that was sprayed out across the floor. You are very likely to encounter some characters whilst playing on the street. Drunks, people who are just annoyed at everything, you know the ones. Youths out for trouble, etc etc. I think the trick here is just to learn how to deal with these people which more often than not means just ignoring them and not reacting at all. Let them be the trouble and don't concern yourself with it. Continue with what you're there to do. Play music, entertain. And if somebody does yell at you or does something to try and cause offence to you personally, my advice is just to keep playing as if they're not even there. Try to laugh and smile, close your eyes and just get further into the music. At the end of the day, you are the one with the microphone. If worse came to worse, you have the ability to garner the attention of the entire street. As for the ketchup stains, I would take that any day over some pointless office meeting. And there are heroes that work in cleaning and healthcare who deal with a lot worse. And the last thing I'll mention for this list Point three, the stigma. This might sound a little strange, but one thing I have noticed as a full-time busker is there is somewhat of a stigma when you talk to some people. Some people do not understand that being a street musician is not only awesome, but is necessary. It's the ultimate musician's day job, but it also brings light and brightness to others. When I tell people what I do for a living, some of them look at me 
with concern. And I'll get questions like, where does that lead to? Or, so you're unemployed? Or, well, <laughs> that's just not a career, is it? Ultimately, I could not care less what people think. This isn't something that necessarily bothers or annoys me. It's one of those things where it would be a waste of my time to try and convince these people how rad my life actually is. But it's something I think you need to be aware of. The truth is, street musicians add something truly special to an otherwise mundane scenario. You can be the unexpected surprise that genuinely makes somebody's day. Live music has this magic to it that when people hear it, it connects with them. It resonates in a way that nothing else does. And being the provider of that with zero expectation of anything in return, it's truly honorable. It really is a service of sorts. And if somebody has a problem with that, then that's their problem, not yours or mine. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's convinced you to give playing some street music a go. Or maybe it's been the deciding factor of getting rid of that awful job that ultimately makes you miserable. Time to turn your passion into your full-time living, especially if you are working on building a music career alongside it. Or perhaps you're trying to build a YouTube channel, which is what I'm doing. So do me the honor of liking this video and hitting the subscribe button. It truly means a lot. And if you are a true fan, then turn the notifications on. I am August Radio Project. I make weekly videos that come out on Mondays. Until next week, maybe watch the one on the screen or go and find some others on the channel. Until next time, peace, love, Happiness.